why would they close the grocery stores? Why would they close the grocery stores? Everybody don't have a family. Everybody, people want to work on Thanksgiving. People would rather make money than to, to sit at home by themselves. Why would they close the grocery stores? That is so silly. Cause I thought it was over. Got me people win and we know that i love you then i got you to the end and you snow that everybody used to show me love where it go at i was born to shine i speak my mind and get that glow back try to pay my dues but niggas rather say you owe that Greetings my kinjas, welcome back to another vlog. I told you guys in my last vlog that I was gonna be going out of town this weekend because I just like need a getaway. So today I have been in the house all day working on wigs. I have four wigs that I need to take to the post office by tomorrow. So I've been working on that. Now I am going to do my lashes. Y'all know I've been doing my lashes lately and I've been doing a damn good job. Like I've been getting better and better and better. So I'm about to do my lashes. I have these like pre-cluster lashes that I have been using by IMV, but I've been using the actual lash extensions for my spikes, and then for my fill, I've been using the pre-clusters from IMV. IMV also have this trio, like 3D trio, where basically it's the clusters, but in three. So it should take me less time to do my lashes today because I have two packs of these, I'm only gonna need one but i'm gonna use the trio and the rest of these and then for my spikes use um these and the lash glue that i use is the eyelash glue in dark this is the lash glue that i've been using and like the lashes be staying on i just be pulling them off <laughs> like i be pulling my lashes off y'all sometimes i be feeling so I don't know what it'd be, but I'd be like in my head thinking and kind of like anxiety kind of be going and I'd just be like pulling my damn lashes off y'all. Like, <laughs> and you could technically reuse them, but the way I'm pulling the babies off, child, throw them things away, so. I mean, it's cool because I be doing my lashes myself and it only cost me like $5, so yeah. Let's get into the lashes, all right? It's the feelings I wear Don't touch my soul When it's the rhythm I know Don't touch my crowd They see the vision My friend, her birthday is at midnight tonight and she didn't plan anything for her birthday. Ugh. And it's her 30th birthday, okay? I didn't plan nothing for my birthday this year, but it was only my 27th birthday. It's her 30th birthday. She was excited for her birthday a couple, like a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, but now she kind of like, uh, uh, I'm turning 30, 30, like this isn't not cool. So <laughs> she's literally right downstairs. So I'm like, her apartment's downstairs. So I'm going to run out to Whole Foods and get like a cute, like, cupcake or something and some candles and just chill out with her for her birthday or whatnot and then tomorrow i had went on ahead and figured uh like i hit up like some of her friends and then her friends hit up their other friends or whatever and we're gonna do like a birthday dinner um at midtown because she like hookah and she like drinks so as long as we got hookah and drinks and her friends around she'll be good so we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna go ahead and do her hair tomorrow because she was complaining about her hair today she's like oh my hair isn't even done da -da -da -da. so i just figured i'll just go ahead and do her hair tomorrow and then what else oh and i need to find her something to wear she doesn't know that we're having like the dinner thing or whatever so i need to find her something to wear so that way 
I'll just pull up and be like, look, let me do your hair. Here goes something cute to wear for your birthday. And we about to go out, period. So, all right, I just got back in. I went to Whole Foods to get some cupcakes and she loves cheesecake. So I really got some like cheesecake cupcake type of things. I ordered, she likes Don Julio tequila. So I ordered some Don Julio tequila and some lime juice. I'm shaking right now because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. But I got these basically like turkey sticks from Trader Joe's. I absolutely love them because they're so good. And I need some energy right now because I'm shaking and I'm kind of getting cold, which isn't good. I'm gonna make me something to eat before I pop up on her downstairs. It's hot. Oh, and she told me about, so to focus, whatever that medicine is, if you take to focus, I think it's like Adderall. They have a shortage. They have a shortage of Adderall. But she came across this holistic doctor that says that that same dopamine that you get when you take Adderall to help you focus and feel good, you can get it naturally by taking B12 and vitamin D and doing cardio for an hour. It produces the same amount of dopamine that you get from taking Adderall. So when I went to Whole Foods to get the cupcakes, they don't have any vitamin D. They only have vitamin D3. I don't have the same thing. But they have vitamin B12. I mean, they have B12. So I got some B12, but in a liquid form. That way she can put it in her water. Oh, that's my dad. Happy birthday to ya. What you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I can just go the show. I went downstairs, got the bottle. I just got us a little bottle because it's literally just us and we don't need nothing crazy. And um, these are the cheesecake like little cakes that I got. And I'm just gonna put some candles in there and light it and sing happy birthday to her. She already ate, but I'm hungry <laughs> and I don't wanna like, like I wanna be down here kicking it with her or whatever. So I got this pizza, this, um, what is this? A roasted garlic and pesto pizza from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, I was just about to pop that in her oven. And then I'm also taking my laptop because she's doing like some work on her computer. So I'm taking my laptop and my planner and Nalapu's coming down with me. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. I'm not gonna take my camera. If she's in the mood to vlog, I'll just vlog from my phone. If not, then I'll just see y'all tomorrow. So. And it ain't no room in Paris. We could still fly, hide, and crash it. Just make sure you pass it. No, you can't imagine. Ooh, it's automatic. This life we live is lavish. We don't have to be here if we stay. We don't have to leave if we go. Roll some more. We are back about two weeks later. <laughs> Last time we left off with me getting my nails and my toes done. So these were the final like look of my nails. There you go. Um, this was the final look of my nails. This wasn't the, the exact design that I was going for, but the nail tech did the best that they could. And I think it's cute. I got used to it. Um, I was going for more of like uh, eccentric, like fall type of aesthetic so um i ended up breaking my nail like two days ago but i'm not gonna get them fixed until this weekend because it's time for me to switch up my nails it's about to be winter or it's winter december coming up so yeah i'm gonna rock my broken nail until this weekend but um yeah i haven't been vlogging lately as you can tell it's been about two weeks and it's taken me a very long time to push out another vlog um but we are here today i ended up getting a phone call yesterday from my friend and he went to go visit his other friend um 
And so him and his other friend was on FaceTime together with me. And I've never met his other friend before, but his friend, he was so impelled to share with me that he's followed me on social media for a very long time and that um, he was extremely proud of me and that I was like, and he, he looks at me as like an inspiration to a lot of men and women. And, um, you know, even the days that I'm not feeling my absolute best, that it's okay to still pick up the camera and vlog and keep on trucking because, you know, he, in his opinion, would like to see that too. Um, because, you know, my journey is what it is, is a journey. And I need to share with other people or be a spokesperson for other people who may be going through or went through the things and are going through the things that I'm going through. So, you know, don't give up, keep on trucking and just be vulnerable um, because he feels like our world needs more vulnerability. Um, and yeah, it's okay to showcase that. So I, I really appreciated that and it really put a battery in my back to really just like get up. Like this is like the first, no, this is the second day. Yesterday was my first day opening up my blinds. I've been sitting in here in the dark, just like not in a good space. And those negative spirits was literally like taking over my mind, body and soul. And um, I had to get up, I had to say, I had to force myself to get up, I had to sage, I had to open up my blinds, get some, try to get some vitamin D through these windows and just like collect myself and be like, I had to do, I had a mirror talk and I was like, Najee, uh-uh, we're not doing this. We're not doing this, we're gonna keep on trucking because there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So, yeah i really appreciate that so i want to be i'm here to tell you guys that no matter what it is that you're going through no matter how bad things seem to be in this very moment um keep on trucking keep on going have faith believe in god know that everything happens for a reason and just keep on trucking even if you don't foresee the light at the end of the tunnel that faith is going to carry you a very long way okay okay so yeah um to catch you guys up though um, I told you guys that I was going out of town. I ended up going to New York and I had a great time. Like when I crossed that New Jersey bridge and went into Manhattan, this nostalgic feeling just like took over my freaking soul. I felt such at ease and I felt so happy. And I instantly remembered why I fell in love with the city in the first darn place. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you guys. Miss my baby so much. We're at Ruby's oh. in New York. We're so old. Now look there. Now look there. I can't even see her black ass. Hi guys. The good old days. Like, I never imagined myself living in Georgia, but um, Atlanta like ever 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 new york was always and still is always my dream place to live and when i was like damn i really threw all of this away like i know every, i i believe that everything happens for a reason but it's like dang still i'm human so i'm like dang i really threw all this away like it took so much for me to move to New York in the first place. Like before I moved to New York, I moved back in with my parents for six months. I was living with my parents for six months. I literally took and had to spend like 10 grand to move to New York. I also had to take out like personal loans and stuff, but I had to take 10 grand to move to New York. And I was only there for two years. Goddamn pandemic. But you know, um, I miss it. So when I was there, I was like, oh my God, I have to move back. Cause I just felt my absolute best. I felt myself. I felt so good. Like I felt inspired. I felt motivated. You know, I love the city. I love the hustle and bustle. I love, you know, the, the energy, the people, the aesthetic. I just absolutely love New York. So I was like, dang, I have to move back to New York. 
I, I have to move back to New York. Ultimately, I have a lot of personal things that I need to take care of first because when I go to New York, when if I move back to New York, I want to go back on a clean slate. I don't want to go with no baggage. I don't have to worry about absolutely anything. So that's my goal right now. My goal is to really put some pep in my step and organize and get my personal life together so that way I can go back home peacefully okay <laughs> go back home peacefully I know I know New York is like look because people are like what you're you're gonna what and I'm like yeah I know I'm not gonna have off rip I'm not gonna I know I'm not gonna have floor to ceiling windows on the penthouse floor in New York City I know that but I would trade that in a heartbeat just to be in the city and just to feel the way I felt when I was there. That was my first time in New York since I left. So I said, oh yeah. I'm back home now and it's currently Thanksgiving. Um, I wasn't able to go home to see my family because I wasn't, home go I, I wasn't able to go home to see my family because I did not know that they was having a Thanksgiving dinner until two days ago and flights are crazy. Nalapu makes my flights even more crazy. So it was given like $700 to go home. And I'm like, eh, we're gonna have to stay home this year. So I'm about to go to Publix and Target. Target to get some personal pans um, that I can put in the oven so I can start baking. But yeah, I'm gonna make my own little personal Thanksgiving for me and Nala. Nala, she's also gonna have a Thanksgiving meal. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some clothes and we're about to go grocery shopping. I'm glad to be back, my kindreds. I'm gonna try my hardest to push through the month of December. I'm not doing vlogmas this year. I tried it last year. Y'all won't really vibing with it. So I'm just gonna push out as much content as I can. And yeah, anyways, I'm renting. Let's go. Everything is closed. Why would they close everything on Thanksgiving? Families need freaking food, last minute stuff. Why would they close the restaurants? Why would they close the restaurants? Everybody don't have a family. Everybody, people want to work on Thanksgiving. People would rather make money than to, to sit at home by themselves. Why would they close the grocery stores? That is so silly. Some people don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. That is so selfish. Why would they close the grocery stores? Now I'm about to starve. This is ghetto. I thought I was going to make me a whole nice little Thanksgiving dinner. Fucking bitches. <laughs> I literally thought that I was having the worst day of my effing life. So, yeah, I literally thought that I was having the worst day of my effing life because, let me make sure I ain't got no shit in my teeth. Mind you, first and foremost, the grocery stores. All the grocery stores are closed. I'm thinking I'm gonna make me a Thanksgiving dinner. All the grocery stores are closed. I go, I'm like, you know what? Since I can't make me a Thanksgiving dinner, I'm about to order me a bottle and I'm about to just drink it up today. We're just about to have a grand motherfucking day in the house. <clears throat> so I go to make me a deli I go to make me an order. I'm wondering where the hell my shit at. It says your order is ready to pick up. Uh uh uh. -uh. I'm not doing that. Call an Uber first, I and then I got call an Uber. To pick no, I wasn't doing that because I had already started cooking. Like I have food here, so I just decided to make me some lamb chops, some rice, some potatoes, and some broccolini. My food already on my fucking stove. I'm not leaving. So I contact DoorDash, I'm like, hey, you know, it was an accident, I meant to do delivery, could we switch it? No, they couldn't switch it, okay, can we cancel it? They're like, oh, we can't give you a full refund. Hold up. You can't give me a full refund on a pickup? On a pickup of a bottle? Not a restaurant where you like ordering food and food already made, you took a bottle? No. Thankfully, the place, they didn't even have what I was looking for, the size of the bottle that I was looking for. So they canceled it, thank God. So, I went to go place me another order, but for delivery. They don't even do delivery. Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like I wanted to just break down and cry. I'm just like, nothing is going right today. Nothing is going right today. Like I was so distracted. I was burning my freaking Brussels sprouts in the stove. Luckily I had more Brussels sprouts to cook, but y'all found another place that did the delivery, which I'm so happy. Oh my God, I feel so much better. They didn't have what I wanted, which was do say, but they had to rock BS. 
um, French brandy. I've never had this before. So I'm definitely gonna try that. And your girl, I'm not making no cocktails. I'm drinking it straight on the rocks with some Maggiano cherries. Now I did not make no damn Brussels sprouts. It was broccolini. Nor is it pronounced Margiano cherries. I don't know why the fuck I said that. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Maybe it's yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Can y'all tell me down below in the comment box how to pronounce these damn cherries? Cause <laughs> I don't know. I had to get me some cherries because I only got like two left in my jar. These babies cost $25 for a jar of cherries. $25. And then this bottle was like $45 plus delivery fees and all that stuff. Your girl almost spent $100 just to calm her nerves. No, really. Like, my anxiety was literally on 10. I'm about to go ahead and make me a drink real quick so I can calm my nerves. And then I'm going to make my plate. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to woo the fuck saw. Okay. I haven't had like liquor in the house. In like in my house for a very long time. The last time I had bought a bottle was for my friend's birthday, but we finished that whole bottle. <laughs> we finished that whole little bottle downstairs. So glad that I have my solid cubes left. Y'all, I'm like so fucking stressed out. Your girl is going crazy. I'm feeling crazy. Mm. It smells good though. It smells really good, actually. Darn scent. I don't even care. I'm about to just put my fingers in it. Look, it's just me. Me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. Hmm. It's when I find out. Yeah. That's literally all you need. A little bit of that syrup, some cherries. Use some whiskey or some cognac. Preferably cognac, but brandy is cognac, right? Yeah, I think so. Woo! Need that. This is probably like the worst vlog ever. But I need a fresh start, so I'm definitely going to edit and post this vlog. And then we're going to start fresh and on a positive note. Mm. Start fresh and on a positive note in the next vlog. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, talk to me. Talk to me. I think I just really need to spend time with myself today because my anxiety was on 10. My friend had invited me to her family's Thanksgiving, thank God. But when I called her, She's like, are you still coming? So I texted her and I was like, hey, just can you send me the address? She didn't come back. So I called her, she didn't answer the phone. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. What the hell going on here? And I'm hungry, so that's why I started cooking. But she had literally just called me before I went downstairs to go get that bottle. She was like, oh, I'm still at home, I'm about to leave out. I already started cooking. I'm not ready, I'm not dressed. I got, I'm in my PJs. I'm, I don't know. I said, I can meet you there later. I want us to go together. <laughs> I'm comfortable. So I, you know, call her and let her know like, hey, I'm at home. You know what I'm saying? I can still come if you want me to come. But, you know. Mm. Now it's time to make my plate. <laughs> okay, so literally just for this day, I'm taking this bowl and I'm filling it up with rice and I'm gonna dump it upside down. Modern day Mediterranean dinner, okay? Can y'all even see? There you go. Let that cool down just a little bit because we don't want it falling apart. These are the lamb chops. They're not burnt, okay? I just want you to know they're not burnt. I just um, took the sauce. Oop, I just took the sauce. My special sauce. I'm not telling you guys my special sauce because I don't want to yet. <laughs> but I took my own little special sauce and I poured it on top of it and I just put it in the oven and let it like do its thing for a little bit. So it's the sauce that makes it look that color. Not that it's not. Mm. You tell them, girl. Bam, see that? That's how you, that's how you do that right there. Hmm. We're gonna have a bunch of little lollipop chops. I 
think that's how you do it though. On the side, just three little potatoes for medium sized potatoes. Mm. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm gonna find you in me. You want me. Mm. You can't run away. I don't know what y'all talk about. Look, my little Thanksgiving dinner about to be good. We got some lamb chops, we got rice, we got potatoes, and we got broccolini. And the most important, I love feel good. Oh, I'm so happy now. Oh my God. I know that sounds so crazy. Please don't judge me. We all grown here, okay? We all have those days. It's just one of them days. Don't take it personal. I just wanna be all alone. And don't think I treat you wrong. Don't take it personal. Baby, 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 that personal. Baby, don't you leave me just one of them days. Oh, I got a story time for y'all. We're gonna do a story time. After I eat though, I don't wanna eat and do my story time because I'm gonna have food all in my teeth. I'm prone to have food all in my teeth, so. Yeah, that's dinner. I'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> Okay, we are on to a whole nother maybe like few days. Like I have not been vlogging like I'm supposed to. I think I'm just over this vlog, so I'm just gonna hurry up and kind of just like get this vlog out so that way we can start fresh for the month of December. But it is currently Sunday and I am going to a pop-up. Um, I'm going to an black woman's entrepreneur type of pop-up which i'm really excited about because um what one of our og youtubers tier monet she is one of the vendors at the pop-up so i'm going to support i'm bringing a friend that uh, i literally just met yesterday but it's a small world we have actually a mutual friend from back in virginia which is like pretty cool and she is too an entrepreneur she has her own clothing boutique well it's not even a boutique because she makes her own clothes she crochets her own dresses and two pieces and stuff so i invited her to come with me because i thought that it would be great for her and yeah i'm about to go ahead and just do my hair do my makeup get dolled up and let this be the finale of the vlog because i know y'all like girl where is the vlog okay i thought i was gonna have time to eat but when I looked at this time, I was like, girl, you got an hour to get yourself together. So um, I made me a smoothie. I did blueberries, Greek yogurt, granola, spinach, and mango. Yeah, and some ice. It's so good, actually. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's giving Barbie. Hello, my name is Bonje, the Barbie doll. Should, ooh, I can't wait till I get like famous enough to where I can come out with my own lifestyle Barbie You know my first black y'all can't even see me Ooh, the Sun is giving Ooh, this lighting right here is giving everything that it needs to give so my first black Barbie doll was Brandy Brandy. I don't know if y'all remember y'all probably too young well actually i don't have a young crowd on my youtube channel when i look at my analytics y'all are from the ages of like 25 to like 36 average but so y'all should know about the brandy doll yes i still have her if i had time to go grab her i would go grab her because i still have her like here but yeah that was my first black barbie doll and i always wanted to be a barbie doll <laughs> and today is giving barbie doll oh my god you can start coming down three minutes away okay she says she's three minutes away so I should probably put some lotion on my feet. Ah, it looks so pretty! Oh my god, finally! Yeah, we're ending the vlog on a good note because, yeah, I haven't gotten dressed up like this since, I don't know, but she's giving, she's giving cute. Ah, I love it. Okay, let me the month of november has been so hard it's been a really tough month like i have not been obviously posting as much as i should be but the month of De november has been like really hard 
So you guys know that I went to New York. I went to New York and um, while I was there, I went to go see my uncle. Like my uncle, he is who I stayed with every time I went to New York to apartment hunt. Yeah, surprise this door. And cold. Oh. I'm recording. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, and it's so peaceful. You have music. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's cold. I love it. He has birds chirping. Yeah. This is so lovely. Yeah, this is how I like it. Like, he's everybody's favorite uncle and like the day before my flight my mom called me and she was like okay you know um your uncle's in the hospital he's not doing too well you know you know she just told me that he wasn't doing too well okay I didn't tell her that I was going to New York so the next day I went to New York and I was like you know let me go to go see my uncle and um, after like two days of me being there, I went to the hospital to go see my uncle. First of all, they was giving me a hard time. Like I, I thought we were past this stage of like everybody needing to be vaccine because clearly even if you have the vaccine, that doesn't mean that you can't catch COVID and it doesn't mean that you can't pass COVID. So why does everybody have to have a vaccine? It doesn't make any sense. But I went to the hospital, they was like, oh, you have to have a vaccine. I don't have a vaccine. Can I just get a, like, a COVID test? They don't do on-site COVID tests. So they wanted me to go to the emergency room. The emergency room line was mad long. Dumb homeless people in there. Like, this was the Brooklyn Hospital. And then, I'm not, I'm not going in there. What? So they was, so I was like, I, I came all the way from, like, hello. So they was just, they advised me to go, like, to, like, a local facility to get, like, an instant COVID test. So I luckily was able to find that. They did that, I was able to get a negative COVID test and then I went back to the hospital and fortunately I had time to go see my uncle. I had like an hour and a half left visiting time to go see my uncle. So I went to the hospital, went back to the hospital, went to go see him. I went into his room. I walked in and I walked immediately out cause I was so confused. Like he didn't see me, my other uncle that was there, he did not see me. I walked in and I walked out cause I was so confused on what the hell I just saw. So I called my mom immediately and I was like, I was like in tears. Cause I'm like, mama, like what is happening here? Like no what, like what's going on? And she was like, she was a little frustrated with me because I did not tell her that I was going. And she felt like if I would have told her, she would have like prepared me and told me like what to be expected. But I was so hurt because this is like our favorite uncle and this would be like the last person that you would see at this time in transitioning like he was whole in transitioning he looked like a completely different person right so it was just like very frustrating and upsetting and very sad and unfortunately i had a friend um in new york and like they were aware that I was going to the hospital and I, and I ended up telling them like, you know, this is what's going on. And, and then they fortunately offered to change my flight to the next day so that way I could spend more time with my uncle. I thought that was very nice and very kind of them. So I ended up doing that and I was like just sitting there and when I was first there, he was not like, he was, you can tell he was in so much pain. He was not feeling well, like he was just, yeah, he wasn't feeling well, but after a while, he ended up waking up, and he was talkative, and he was, you know, oh, I'm so glad that you're here, you know. He just kept expressing how much he just wanted to be around family, and that he had accepted the fact that, you know, he is in transitioning, and that, you know, he just wanted to be around family, and he just expressed how it's just crazy how life can take a turn on you whether it be good or bad like he looked good he had like his energy was just like so captivating you know eats healthy you know 
you know, just like, it's just so weird how like, life is just so weird. Life is, life can be so uncomfortable. It's just so weird. His birthday was last week. Um, and his biggest thing was making it to his birthday. Like he just wanted to at least make it to his birthday. So he made it to his birthday. And today we all got the news that um, he has passed along. That was tough. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be going back to New York very soon, probably like next week. And yeah. Um, my upcoming vlog, one of my upcoming vlogs, I'm just going to do like a tribute to my uncle because he was really, um, big and active in the community. My family's from Brooklyn. So like, you know, if you're from Brooklyn, you probably know who he is. If you're from Brooklyn and involved with community and you're an activist, maybe you are familiar with him. So like, I'm going to do like a tribute in my next coming vlogs to to him because he deserves he deserves he deserves so i wanted to post this vlog earlier today and i wanted to like incorporate like a trial haul and my story time because i still have a story time to tell you guys from like when i went to new york but i don't even feel like it we can do like a we can do like a get ready with me story time sometime this week when I feel up to it. Crossing fingers. Cause what, December is coming up. What's today's date? It's the 29th. You see, today's the 29th, tomorrow's the 30th. I have my friend, my friend's coming into town. She's, she's moving from she used to live here i met her when she lived here and then she moved to la but now she's moving back to atlanta because she doesn't want to be in la anymore so she's going to be staying with me for a month until her apartment is ready her apartment's going to be ready in january so she's going to be staying with me for the month and i'm like really excited because i definitely could use some like day to day you know um company and yeah, we're gonna start fresh. This vlog, I'm sorry if this vlog was not popping. I'm sorry if this vlog was not. She be trying to make me feel good. She be knowing when I don't feel good. She's so sweet. But um, yeah, I'm sorry if this vlog was not popping. I drug, I drug this vlog out. Like, I, I know, I like, <laughs> but look. It is what it is, but on to the next phase in life, okay? I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs> it is therefore fitting that we join in acknowledgement of their special events and the game. And whereas all of Brooklyn proudly gathers here today with Ingersoll Resident Association to honor and recognize Celine S. Ali, for the outstanding achievements he has made in our community. Yeah. And whereas on behalf of all Brooklyn Knights, I salute Celine S. Ali, a community organizer and the leader of the Fort Wayne Farragut Old Timers Day, for dedicating his time to help out and improve his community. I applaud him for being a mentor, working with others to ensure that his community members get the help and guidance they need to succeed. Many of you know I've sacrificed my time, my life, my family, for the benefit of Fort Green Out of Green Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.